guys you're welcome back my name is Bukumi Bike Kran. so we're gonna be checking out this video titled read these verses and Allah will send help immediately powerful Quran verses so let's watch no human being lives a Jannah on earth you might think a person does when you see him or her with something that you don't have but the reality is that every single human being without exception is struggling in some fashion, form or manner. Every one of us is being tested. That's what life is about. So there are certain verses that we should memorize and use so that we can insha'Allah ta'ala overcome these struggles. First verse, all of you know it. It's a rule that we should all memorize. فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى Allah never sends down a difficulty except that along with the difficulty there is a yusr, an ease. The meaning here, the same difficulty Allah sends down, He will send down multiple ease. So, if you are struggling financially, Allah is saying, don't worry, your health will be good. If you have a health issue, Allah is saying, you have loving family. If you have a family problem, Allah is saying, society is at peace. In other words, whatever difficulty you are facing, Allah is saying, I'm going to give you multiple ease that will make other aspects easy for you, even as you struggle with this difficulty. The second verse that we should remind ourselves of is, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. No soul is going to be burdened with more than what it can bear. What this indicates is beautiful. Some people, they think, I can't bear this, it's too much for me. The struggle is too hard. I don't have what's in me. And to them we say, your creator knows that you have it in you to overcome this struggle. You might not trust yourself, your creator trusts you. You might not believe in yourself, Allah knows that you can do it. Allah knows you have the strength, you have the courage, you have the fortitude, you have the Iman. Allah knows you have the inner capacity and the external will to overcome this issue. That's why you're facing it. So trust in Allah because Allah is trusting in you in the sense here that Allah knows you can do it. Never does a calamity happen to a believer. Never does a tragedy occur to a believer except that at the end of the tragedy, tragedy or the calamity, the believer is the victor. The mu'min, the believer is never a loser. The third verse of optimism, one of the most powerful verses of optimism when we're facing a calamity or a tragedy. Memorize this verse, Surah Tawbah, beautiful verse. Say, Allah is telling you to say this. Allah wants you to memorize this. قُلْ لَنْ يُصِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا هُوَ مَوْلَانَا وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلِ Say, nothing shall happen to us except that Allah has already decreed this for us. Do you know what Mawla means? Mawla means the one who's in charge of protecting you. That's what Mawla means. Mawla means he is in charge of your nourishment. He is in charge of your health. He is in charge of your safety. That's what Mawla means. So if Allah has planned it and he's our protector, then surely the one who is our protector will protect us and guide us and manage our way out. Learn it from the mouth of our Prophet Musa alayhi salam. When he was fleeing, the children of Israel are in the desert. The army of Fir'aun trained soldiers on horses, archers, the whole entire nine yards. The military is there and they're running and fleeing on foot and they get to the Red Sea. And what do the Bani Israel say? The Bani Israel, they don't have that Iman. Inna la mudrakun. Khalas, we're gone. Fir'aun's gonna catch us up. We're gonna die. What did Musa say? Memorize it and then use it. Kalla, inna ma'iya rabbi sayahdeen. I have Allah, how can I possibly lose? Allah is with me. Inna ma'iya rabbi, my Lord will find a way out for me. That's what you call optimism. He had no weapons, no army, no training, no horses. Behind them is the mightiest military force known to man. In front of them is the massive Red Sea. They don't know how to swim. They have children, they have babies. The Musa says, no, it's not gonna happen. I have Allah on my side. Allah will show me a way out. And what did Allah do? Allah showed that way out. When you believe in Allah and you put your trust in Allah, 
That's when the miracles happen. Every one of us, wallahi, we can, we can experience many miracles in our lives. Wallahi, as Allah is our Lord, we will face and we will see those miracles, many miracles for our personal lives. Sustenance will come from a place we never expected. Help will come from a source we never thought about. And this is the reality of lived experiences. Hmm, wow. What a powerful Quran verses. Like you said, Allah knows everything. God knows what you're passing through. God knows everything you're going through. So rely on Him. You no, know, put your hope in God and be obedient to the will of God. Follow His will. Do good deeds. Do what He says you should do. When you do this, then no matter what you ask from God is always merciful even though you disobey him even though you you do things he doesn't like he gives chances but when you obey him when you follow his will when you listen to him and you know do the right thing when you call upon God God will always answer you God will always come to your rescue God will always bless you more than your your expectation so you have to do the right thing at the right time you know that's the most important thing like you you heard what this man said in, his, in the video he's just trying to motivate us encourage us that don't lose hope it might be tough things might be rough it might look as if god is not there or god is not doing what you want or god is not you know listening to your prayers but he is always there with us he knows what we want he knows what we need but he can only give us what we want at his own perfect time so wait for his time don't rush that's the important thing thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one